Okay, this video is Plant Chompers Debunks Bark K. And so basically, this is the Plant Chompers guy. I think his name's Chris McCaskill. He, um, he made a video about Bark K. Uh, and so I think Bark K said something about him, and then he made this video in response. And parts of it are pretty funny. Okay, um, he basically shows a video of Bart K saying the evidence for his dietary recommendations don't exist in the literature yet. Yeah, that's because he just made them up. They're ridiculous. Bart K recommends that people eat 100% animal foods and that they eat 0% carbohydrates. That's not a misstatement. He said, I, I heard him say it, they should eat 0% carbohydrates. That's insane. That's completely stupid, ignorant, and wrong. Okay, he says that eating carbohydrates causes insulin resistance. <clears throat> that's wrong, and that's been known for about 100 years. Jay Shirley Sweeney in 1927 showed that he fed a bunch of medical students high-fat diets. They all became insulin resistant, and he fed them uh, carbohydrate diets, and they didn't become insulin resistant. And that's been reproduced numerous times. The Hemsworth research, the Rabinowitz research, um, you know, Nathan Pritikin, Walter Kempner. That was also been confirmed, you know, with Michael Brownlee's research. And it's also been confirmed even more precisely with the Gerald Shellman Banting winner, best diabetes researcher in the world, 2018. You could watch uh, the, I'll actually put a link to it below, Gerald Shellman lecture on insulin resistance, where it shows the first finding of insulin resistance is accumulation of fat in the skeletal muscle, intramyocellular lipid, okay? He'll also have another lecture at the University of Miami, their internal medicine lectures online, where he says, if you infuse in the IV, uh, lipids, fat, into the blood, they become insulin resistant, but not with carbohydrate, okay? Um, so Bart K says carbohydrates are poison. I think the reason we have colored um, vision with our eyes is so we can see when a fruit is ripe. Now, Plant Chompers guy, he's a smart guy. Um, I don't know what I think of him yet, though. You know, he refuses to interview me. He deletes my comments if I comment on his channel. Um, but he did, he, he made this pretty funny. I, you know, I'm working full time right now. I'm pretty tired, but I can tell you, Bart doesn't know nutrition. He puts on a big show and he's funny. He's a very clever, entertaining guy. He really should be on a sitcom and you know, he might get some money. I don't know if he does or not, but I would predict he probably does because you know, big meat, uh, they don't really have any data to support telling people to eat meat and, you know, oils and all this other stuff. So, they need guys to create a bluster and a fuss or a bit of a show to detract attention away from the facts that, you know, the best diet is low-fat, low-sodium, vegan diet, you know, 100%. Okay, so, and anyways, Bart tries to exaggerate and confuse people with his Randall cycle, but that doesn't explain the problems of eating dietary fat and animal foods. There's tons of problems with eating animal food. Increased risk of cancer, increased risk of TMAO, increased risk of atherosclerosis, increased risk of obesity, increased risk of coronary artery disease, increased risk of hypertension, increased risk of dementia, decreased oxygen delivery to the tissues, increased activation of mTOR. It goes on and on and on. And it's amazing, though. There's a lot of people. Bart had a lot of really supportive fans. I was kind of surprised at that. It's kind of almost scary that, you know, the American population is so stupid they would buy into this nonsense. So, anyways, I'll put the links to the Plant Chompers video. I'll put the links to the Gerald Shulman video.